the salvation uh, that is uh, a spiritual birth, a spiritual baptism, uh, does not come by realizing you're worthless and that Jesus has to put righteousness in you to keep you from doing uh, man's laws and, and sinning uh, by disobeying man's laws. Um, this is not what salvation is because men can always point a finger and there's no one that's that's died that we can point a finger and say they're righteous because man's laws don't justify you uh, and the Bible makes this clear. I want to. I want to. The study I've gone over is imputed righteousness, and I hold the only list in the world of God's laws. Uh, be, and I know this for sure because I had a list of archetypes printed, and even this person doesn't know the the laws uh, because I I had to get the original Bible word. Once I went to preaching school. And they told me I could only get words out of the Bible. So then I got the original Bible word, and I presented this to, like I say, preaching school, uh, more than 10 faiths, um, spiritualism uh, women. Uh, they say they don't study the Bible. Women who are spiritualism, they don't use the Bible. They use the stars, and, and they just allow thoughts to come into their head that they say are from God. And then preaching schools, they use this outline where you have to use law. And so uh, there is no one in the world that's using God's laws because I've offered God's laws to them. And these laws are words like friendly, loyal, confident, and they can't be tampered with by man. There are some virtues uh, like patience and temperance. And man has said that these are God's laws. Um, but they have taken temperance and even patience and made sins out of them uh, to where if, if, you're, if you've not done certain patient things, if you've, if you've done certain things related to temperance, then you are sinning by man's laws, and they've categorized uh, these things that they say are God's laws. They've categorized them to issue sin to them and, and law to them, but... This imputed, imputed righteousness um, that I'm talking to you about, this is connected with the spirit birth, the spirit baptism that we're supposed to have that's in Jesus' name because Jesus made us aware of these things, that we are heirs. And so when you study imputed righteousness, you're going to find that if the law justifies you, then the promise is of none effect. Okay, and that's what I'm talking about here. And then also it talks about belief in God and having this faith uh, because we're heirs and uh, that faith without works is dead and the working of the imputed righteousness is what it's talking about. The being friendly, confident, and loyal, that's what it's talking about. It's not talking about um, doing a work of being put in water baptism or doing a work of repentance or confession or even belief. The belief in God that's in this passage has to do with being heirs because it mentions that. And so we have spiritualism and Jesus made us aware of it because he's our brother. And he even says he's our brother. And so um, uh, that makes it that we all have heavenly in us. We It says first we were um, earthly and then we were made heavenly. Uh, and I have presented this by the spiritual, um, the heavenly how spiritualism was put into us in Genesis 6 um, and how God reckoned it in Noah's family uh, through sons of God angels. And so we have God's laws in us and he said he would put his laws and write them in our hearts. And so God has done this and, uh, and, and Jesus has made us aware of it. Now, being saved has to realize that you're good, not that realize that you're worthless and that Jesus is going to have to operate to keep you from sinning because no one has ever died that is sin-free. And that's not salvation. Salvation is realizing that you're good and that you have imputed righteousness in you and that you can do the good. And so um, please take note of this and, uh, and, and try to be saved the proper way uh, by realizing that salvation is realizing that you're good and you have these imputed righteousness 
into you. And and I will, I'm going to only release these thousand words uh, as I get prompted by people who are interested uh, because obviously uh, if you're saved you don't know about God's imputed righteousness you don't know about his laws I have the only list and uh, like I said I took my time and I've gone through the Bible getting the original word and I put it on YouTube but I'm gonna take it off I'm gonna take it off because it's not read you can't quite read it and so I'm gonna take it off I'm gonna put it back up when I'm prompted uh, uh, by the spiritualism of people that are interested in knowing God's laws and what they are. Right now, I can only tell you three. I'm only going to tell you three. Uh, friendly, loyal, confident. But there are thousands in the Bible. Well, there's over a thousand that I have. And then I still am going to take the concordance and get all of the archetypes that are imputed righteousness. Um, and then, like I said, um, uh, people have denied seeing this. Uh, the school of preaching did not even want to read any of them. Even when I said, look, these are in the Bible, friendly, loyal, confident. And uh, they, they still said, we don't accept any righteousness but the Bible. And we won't accept archetypes. And we won't accept God's laws that way. And so, um, but, but I'm telling you, they're in the Bible. They're God's laws that can't be tampered with. And the, 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 any law that man has said is God's laws in the Bible, they can be tampered with uh, from this one passage that gives seven uh, different, you know, temperance and patience. Um, these virtues that it talks about, um, they can be they can be held up against law. You know, you, you can say you're not virtuous because you broke a man's law. And so that's why they, they hold up law to all of these that, that are supposed to be God's laws. And so uh, uh, realize in this video that, that you're not saved because you've never been uh, taught this. This has never been taught that you have imputed righteousness through being an heir. It, the, only, the only commentaries say that you have imputed righteousness if you do the work of being put into water or repenting or believing. And so understand that you already have these gifts and that we're already children and the Bible spells this out I have hundreds of children passages uh, I don't even feel compelled to, to put them up right now I don't feel compelled to hold a Bible up because you have to understand this from this video uh, you have to believe that there's hundreds of children's of passage it says we're already offspring before it says to repent for carving God and thinking he can be carved with the vices of men so so we are offspring, and we have the imputed righteousness, and he has put his laws into our hearts and minds. And this is prophesied by God that he would do this based on the rainbow. So when you look at a rainbow, remember that you have God's laws in you. Remember that you uh, are friendly, loyal, confident, and that can be offered to everyone, not just members in a church, not just your friends, and not just people that you uh, know immediately and think that are, are saved as you are.